Tactical Training Defensive Tactics Individual Coverage This type of coverage uses the opponent as its point of reference and is the most used in futsal today. It is effective in any type of court and can be used with pressure and total and half-court floating coverage. Pressure coverage also serves as a deterrent to the goalkeeper on attack because after a goal throw the ball cannot be passed back to the goalkeeper unless it touches an opposing player or passes the center line. Defensive movement number one, individual coverage with floating partial pressure. The goalkeeper has possession of the ball. The defenders should be positioned in the following manner. Players number four and five, who are defending up front, should focus on closing the gap in the middle. The other two players, numbers two and three, at the back of the defensive zone, are in individual coverage. The initial focus is on the player with the ball, without each defender forgetting his respective opponent. After the goalkeeper distributes the ball, the defender on the side of the ball should reduce the space going to pressure coverage. The defender who challenges the player with the ball should pay attention to his basic positioning. The other defender up front, in this case player number five, should be placed between his respective opponent and the ball, as he might have to take over the coverage of his teammate. If player number four is beaten, either in the middle or to the side, number five is responsible to make the coverage. The other two players, player number two and three, are in individual coverage. In all situations, the players should be ready to take over the coverage of their closest teammate. Defensive movement number two, individual coverage floating half court. In this type of coverage, the defenders all go back to their defensive half court, waiting for the goal throw, and start coverage at their defensive half court allowing the opponent to advance with the ball from their zone. When the attackers move forward, the defenders playing up front close the gap in the middle. The defender on the side of the ball moves forward to challenge for the ball. The other defender closes the middle, staying in a position that allows for coverage. The two other defenders who are behind are in individual coverage, close to the attackers. In this type of coverage, one of the players must always close the middle with the possibility of covering without forgetting his respective opponent. <music> Defensive movement number three. Individual coverage with total pressure after the goalkeeper has distributed the ball. After the goalkeeper has distributed the ball, the players open up the middle and loosen coverage. This type of coverage is used more when the play starts with the goalkeeper because he is not a pass option. The player that challenges the player with the ball should be in the basic defensive position. The player covering the opposing pivot should pay very close attention to him, for in this type of coverage the pivot can find a lot of room to create plays. This type of coverage also makes defending difficult, but it should be used. The closest player is responsible for the coverage. This coverage can be used when the opposing team is technically inferior or the team is losing the game. Zone defense. The point of reference in this type of coverage is the ball, with each player responsible for a specific area. This type of coverage is more efficient when used in smaller courts and starting at the half court. Two and two coverage. This type of positioning occurs during a goal throw before the goalkeeper has distributed the ball. The positioning is in a square shape. The defenders who are defending up front should be focused on closing the middle to prevent the ball from easily getting to the pivot. 
After the goalkeeper has distributed the ball, the defender on the ball side should go to challenge, and the other defender closes the middle. The defenders covering at the rear make a similar movement to those up front. When the ball is on the left side of the attacker, he dribbles past the defender to the side. The coverage is now made by the defender closest to the parallel, in this case, number three. Defender number two takes the place of defender number three. If he is beaten to the middle, the coverage goes to number four, who closes in the middle. This type of coverage makes it possible to always have a defender covering. See how behind the defender who makes the initial challenge, there are players defending and in coverage. Zone coverage, three and one. This is a coverage used for when the opponent is playing in a three and one offensive system. In this coverage, the fixed defender is in individual coverage of the pivot. The left wing covers the right wing. The right wing covers the left wing. And the pivot, the fixed defender. The defenders make a diagonal. or triangular coverage. Note that for this coverage, when the ball is on the wing, the defenders form a diagonal. And when the ball is in the middle, they form a triangle. But must always pay attention to close the middle so that the ball does not reach the pivot and at the same time allowing for each to cover. All these movements can be used with the line players and can include the goalkeeper or not. <laughs>